how you guys doing? You can see behind me, we got some bad weather over here in East Tennessee. It's been raining the last couple days. So we got my raincoat on. We're going to do a garage clean out quote. And then we also have to pick up a matches box spring. The car exhaust system. And you never know what you'll find in junk removal. You get called all the time to pick up some of the most random items. And uh, junk removal always keeps you on your toes. Every day is a new journey. So we're excited today, despite the rain, to get these jobs done. To help out our customers. They don't have to worry about their junk anymore. But just let me show you how much it's raining over here. So I'm on the 26 right now. And it's coming down pretty good. It's raining been pretty steady. Uh, it pretty much hasn't stopped for like the past 24 hours. You know, here and there it stopped, but it's been raining pretty good. So um, we're going to go ahead and take care of this job. And uh, I'll bring you guys with me. I just hope that mattress isn't sitting outside soaking wet. Oh, that's going to be heavy. The queen size, luckily it's not a king. Too bad it's not a twin or a full though. But hey, crack a junk and we'll get the job done nonetheless so enough of me talking let's get cracking and get to work now when i spoke to the customer the day before she told me she had some junk in her garage that she needed to haul away and based upon our conversation this is exactly what i was expecting just junk everywhere there was all kinds of stuff in here household junk tools scrap metal construction debris it was just filled with trash so we just finished the quote and yes as you saw there was a lot of junk in her garage a lot of it was stuff from her husband she said and just stuff they've accumulated over the years and then there was the back basement part so there was a lot of stuff all kinds of things and uh, she said another junk removal company came out which i'll touch on in a minute but so we surveyed everything with the customer, looked through all the items, and we gave her a price. I estimated between one and two full box trucks uh, with the garage in the basement area. It wasn't within her budget, which I understand. So I worked with her on the price, and we agreed just to do the garage area. So we secured that job for tomorrow. So yes, we beat out the other junk removal company, major franchise that just moved to our area. Uh, she said she'd rather go with me. Of course, it's cracking junk removal. Tri City's number one top choice for junk removal and home clean out. So, we're excited to get that done tomorrow. So, now we're on our way to pick up this mattress, this box spring, and this car exhaust. So, let's go ahead and get to that job so we don't keep the customer waiting. picked up this queen size mattress and box spring along with a car exhaust system and we scored yes a five star review all right that was a quick easy job it took no more than 10 minutes the customer helped me load it you can see the car exhaust system we got there in the back and then uh below the mattress oh, a big box spring yes they do fit in the van guys uh you'd be surprised at how much stuff you can fit in a cargo van I bought the box truck just recently, and I'm getting that wrapped, so stay tuned. Uh, you'll like the design. But when it comes to these tight spaces, you can kind of see it's just a one-way road. Um, it's convenient to have the box truck, or I'm sorry, the cargo van, to get into those areas. I could have brought my trailer, don't get me wrong, but it's raining today, and I just didn't feel like I put the trailer, so. I had the luxury of being able to use my cargo van to do a lot of jobs, but tomorrow's job, garage clean out, cannot use the cargo van. We will have to use the box truck. So right now I'm heading to pick up the box truck because I have some stuff in there I need to organize, some things I need to uh, go ahead and take to the landfill so that way we have the truck ready for tomorrow. So that's our next order of business here is to empty that box truck and then as of right now, that will be it for today, unless we get some more calls. But just uh, trying to stay dry and uh, get these jobs. Jobs keep rolling in. Once I get that wrap on the box truck, business 
this should be picking up, so Lord willing, I'm looking forward to that. But um, thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like, drop a comment below. And if you made it this far in the video, leave a green heart, hit that subscribe button. Catch you guys in the next video.